Hello everyone, Pool Talking, and today I'm going to start uh, teaching you how to install Code Chicken Core to your modding environment because uh, I will uh, use it uh, quite a lot in my tutorials. So let's jump right into it. First of all, you will need uh, to run Minecraft uh, at least once so that uh, some uh, folders are created. For example, inside Eclipse. This is my modding environment. Inside the Eclipse, some folders need to be created. So let's run Minecraft first. You see, I edited uh, the example mod uh, so that it adds uh, a block that I will uh, need in future tutorials. It's basically a pillar. And uh, as you can see from uh, the name of the class, uh, you can guess uh, what uh, my next tutorial will be about. <laughs> so, let's wait uh, for Minecraft to load. I might uh, skip this. Yes. Okay, so we are back and Minecraft is loaded. Now we can. Uh, So loud. Quit game, and uh, as you can see, some new folders are created, mostly mods. Now we will need to fill that folder. So we navigate. We do a quit googling, chicken bones, and uh, this is uh, his Minecraft thread on the Minecraft forums. So, uh, first things first, uh, you will need uh, to know this. Throwing Code Chicken Core into your uh, mods folder here will enable you to throw any other obfuscated mod into your mods folder and play with it in your development environment. This is really, really cool and useful. And you will uh, see why in a moment. But for now, we click download and download Code Chicken Core. And I will grab uh, not enough items as well. So, Code Chicken Core, source. And yes, uh, my system language is uh, Italian, so I didn't bother to change that. Not enough items, development, and Code Chicken Core development. All saved. So, Code Chicken Core development, and not enough items, development. They will need to go in the mods folder in Eclipse. There we go. And then we can mm, well just create uh, a new folder. Let's call it uh, source. Yes. And we will put core chicken core source in here. Good. And uh, if you wanted, you could uh, grab uh, not enough items source uh, as well. But I'm not going to do that now. Now we have those mods installed. We will need to run Minecraft uh, once more because uh, you see why here. Because Cold Chicken Libs needs uh, to be downloaded basically downloaded automatically and uh, yeah just uh, run minecraft once to get that as well download complete and uh, well, we can stop here so now we have those mods installed and uh, if we actually play minecraft uh, you'll see that uh, they are indeed installed and uh, as uh, said in the thread, 
you can add uh, any other Minecraft mod in that uh, mods folder and uh, you can play with it freely obfuscate and at all so really cool but uh, uh, yeah that's basically it now to actually use uh, and Core we will need to see something uh, first thing first Chicken Bones has uh, his GTube uh, account where you can find uh, mm, basically all the code so for example Code Chicken Core has something for GUIs ok GUI screen widget now if I were to use GUI screen widget uh, GUI is equal to new GUI screen widget you see that I can't actually import that why is that? because it's not linked basically you right click on minecraft go to properties java lead path libraries and adjust navigate in minecraft clips mods and uh, yeah, that's the minecraft version so code chicken lib code chicken core and well not really not enough items i won't need that so that's this tool ok ok building workspace done and now let's see yes import guys screen widget <coughs> sorry from codechickencore.gui and there you go so that's basically how you use uh, codechickencore in your modding environment you can just uh, add that uh, to the game you need to actually mm, tell Eclipse uh, that you need uh, an external jar now going to GTube is not really the best way to do this we downloaded that source for a reason so if you were to mouse over GUI screen widget we see that it has no source test so what we do is that source path is source or she can call source dot jar ok ok and there you go this is all the code that you can actually find on GTube but you know this is much easier and yeah much more practical so this is it basically this is how to install uh, code chicken core in your modding environment so I'll make you many more tutorials hopefully and uh, I hope you enjoyed it arrivederci <laughs>